meninos, claro. Worship time. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Harvey Galloway and his family, they lost their mom this morning. Someone else tonight? Hannah. Hannah and Parker and the baby. I'm mm -hmm. Well, Sean, why don't you come up and we'll go ahead and, and anoint you. In the name of Jesus. And we're just going to pray over every need in the house tonight. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Lord, I worship you and I praise you, God. Lord, I thank you and I praise you for this healing virtue that flows through his body tonight. From the top of his head to the soles of his feet, Father God, move like never before, Lord Jesus. Lord, your word is true. Lord, I worship you for this touch, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I worship you for this touch.
thank you, Jesus. You can worship all the way back to your seats tonight. And the offer needs to be taken up as well. We tend to miss it. We'll get that before we leave tonight. Somebody say, God bless Brother Joey. Brother Joey. Go ahead and be seated if you want. I, uh, I told someone the other day, I, I quit having somebody to pray when I get ready to preach. <coughs> the last time I had that prayer, they said, Lord, let him, let him preach like he's never preached before. And sometimes that's not a good thing. <laughs> Okay, well, that, that's <laughs> you know, when you have to explain your jokes, <coughs> um, I told Brother Charles on the way in, uh, was kind of, you just not got it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, I looked around at who I was here. I said, well, I guess I'm going to change my sermon because the ones I was going to preach to not here tonight. <laughs> uh, um, I promise not to keep you long. Um, I, I was very impressed with two young men that spoke this past Saturday night for us. Amen. Um, Amen. He must have said that. So I guess I can talk bad about him since he's not in here. Um, I have seen, I, I, and this, I don't have any of this wrote down, but I've seen some people stepping up. Amen. And it makes me feel good to see. Uh, and one of the scriptures that was read, I'm going to read it tonight, and I kind of like the way they, as a matter of fact, they used two different scriptures, and I, and I really like the way they used them. Uh, but, uh, go ahead and give you my title. My, my son-in-law's grandfather, I knew him growing up as Papa Bill. He wasn't no kin to it, but everybody called him Papa Bill, so that's what I called him. And uh, a lot of years of his life, he was in a wheelchair. A lot of times he didn't know where he was at or what he was doing, but he had a saying. And he'd do his hand like this. He'd say, you don't know what I know. <laughs> and the title of my sermon tonight, Brother Zach, is you don't know what I know. Not Brother Zach, no. <laughs> We're going to read from Psalms 121st chapter. It says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. He that keepeth Israel shall not slumber, shall not neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. Thank you, Lord. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall pervert, preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. All right. Then we're going to skip down to uh, verse 27th chapter. It says, Teach me thy way, O Lord, and teach me in a plain path the cause of mine enemies. Deliver me not into deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are rising up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. Now I know I'm reading a bunch of scriptures all at once, but I, I I've got a point I can get to here in just a minute. To the Lord, in the 41st chapter, the second verse, that the Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and he shall be blessed upon the earth, and thou wilt not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. Now we're going to skip down to Micah, 7th chapter. Rejoice not against me, O mine enemies. All right. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sin in the darkness... The Lord shall be a light yes. to me. And that's when my title comes up. Enemy, you don't know what I know. All right. Yeah. I, I, right. Sister Lindsay, if I could call back a few months before I bunged up my knee, I done figured out I, I, I was going to do my whole tripping trick. 
I, I've got it down to a science. I can do that, but this year's idea to tear something else up. So I decided against such a rah rah might get mad at me. <laughs> but you know the first thing you do when you trip and fall, you try to look and see who saw you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's true. <laughs> And and then if somebody saw you, then you gotta stand up and shake it off like you know, I'm okay. But I wanna tell the enemy tonight, All you right. don't know what I know. All right. Amen. That's you it. Don't, you don't know the God I serve That's and it. and what he can do right. when if yeah. not if I fall, when I fall. When I fall. Because sooner or later we'll fall. And and the problem in falling is not it is it's when we stay down and we try to get back right. up. Amen. Um, right. The day I prayed through the Holy Ghost minister told me, he said, uh, now don't, don't get upset when you fall. He said, a good fighter don't know how good he is till he gets knocked down. Mm -hmm. Brother Chris, I was so full of, of the Holy Ghost and full of myself too, I guess, because I was thinking there ain't no way. So tomorrow there was no way. I was, there was no, no, no way I could fall. As full of the Holy Ghost as I was that day. And the very next day, I was at work and a stack of frames fell on my hands and Brother Sean, I failed. Nobody heard me but me and God. And Brother Zach, what the preacher told me went through my head. And all I could do was repent and say, okay. And, and I, I picked myself up and I dusted my knees out. Right. And I went back. Because, anyway, you don't know what I know. <laughs> right. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Brother Smooth read the scripture about he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. <coughs> well, of course, that's just pretty cool for me. Yeah, it is. You know, when, uh, I don't know what my favorite food would be right now, but whatever that favorite food was, I feel like that's what he's going to prepare. Uh -huh. right there. And see, so, David, my, my enemy is going to sit and watch me. Right. I, I thought about what my brother said about going to a buffet with Brother Wade Hall. Mm. <laughs> and and for y'all that don't remember him, he'll tell you he was four hundred and none of your business pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and my brother said he sat there and watched him eat stuff that he knew he didn't like. <laughs> but he made it look so good he had to try it. <laughs> And I think that's what the that's what the meal that God's gonna prepare for right. me in front of my enemies. Amen. It's gonna be something they don't like. I'm gonna eat it so well that they're gonna want it. Right. They ain't gonna get none of it. That's right. And then Thank Brother you. Zach brought a scripture out. And, and and this popped up some of my reading the other day and, and I hadn't researched it until you till you read the scripture. And uh and it's in Psalms. I had a bunch of scriptures in Psalms tonight. The 23rd Psalm in the 6th verse says, Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And that's pretty cool. You know, goodness and mercy will follow me. Right. But the minister that I heard preaching on this, he had done a little research. So I thought, well, both me and Brother Charles, they ought to do their research. Now I've got I've got the Hebrew word here. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to try to say it. Because <laughs> it looks like you're funny. That's probably not how it's pronounced. But but and that's we'll follow. And the way it is brought out here from the Hebrew into the Strong's Concordance where they brought out what will follow and, and whatever that word was is to pursue yes. or to chase. Chase. It gives it a whole different yes, meaning. It does. Mm. You know, I, I, I yes. could be following Brother Zach he might run off and leave me. But if I'm chasing him, uh -huh. if I'm pursuing him, Yes. He ain't going to get out of my sight. That's right. I, I thought about, you know, when, when I was dating Jesus. Sister Robin, if I'd just been following her, I never would have caught her. Uh, <laughs> but I had to pursue her. Right. 
That's the only way she'd ask me to marry her if I pursued her. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here to tell you tonight, enemy, you don't know. That's it. Amen. You don't know what I know. That's right. I mean, I've been I've been down I've been down the bottom. Come on with it. Come on with it. Yes, right. Brother Corey, I've been down where you had to dig dirt off to find the bottom. Come on. But, but God was right there. Yes, he was. Because the one that put me on the bottom, he didn't know. That's right. He didn't know what I knew. Right. He didn't know that I served the God. And you say, well, how can you say you're serving God if you don't go on the bottom? Well, sometimes he just takes you there. Sometimes, just like in our devotion today, you know, it's talked about, uh, and yesterday it's about Joseph. There's a lot of stuff he went through. <laughs> All of us Joseph's been through some stuff. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and they throwed him in a, in a well with no water. There's a lot of things that had to take place for Joseph to be elevated. And everything that everything the enemy threw at him, uh -huh. he didn't know what Joseph knew. That's right. Joseph knew there was a special calling. Right. He might not have went about it the right way, but had he not, he might not have wound up where he's supposed to be. That's right. You know, I think a lot of times we we blame we blame the devil on situations we get into. And I think, Brother Chris, I think sometimes God has to let us get in those situations to get us to the point where we need to be. Right. That's true. So I've seen the time when, you know, if if um, if I never had a flat tire, I wouldn't know how to change one. And sometimes it's good to have friends to show up and help you change them. Right. Especially when it's cold and drizzling rain. Brother Zach said, I've never had so much fun changing the flat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the, and, and the devil may have sent, he may have sent that flat. But he didn't know what we knew. That's right. He didn't know, he didn't know I had friends. And, you know, Garth Brooks sang a song, I got friends in low places. I'm so glad to know that I, I got friends in, in, in not so low places. That's right. That's it. I'm so glad to know I serve a God that can get me out of the bottom. Right. Out, out of the pit. Yes, he can. Because yes, he can. devil, you don't know. That's right. You do not know what I know. No, I, I know didn't. God will prevail. Yes, he will. You know, a lot of times we'll we will we will we will walk around and we get all down the mouth and, and uh sometimes somebody has to remind us. Right. I, and I've told the story before, but I think it would bear repeating. Uh when Brother Ben and myself were working together and uh if you're self-employed, it's just as bad to have too much work as not enough work. Because you're always worrying about getting it done. And if you hadn't got work, you're worried about what we're going to do. We get started in town. I had a job probably an hour or so. It was going to take us to finish up the project we were on. Didn't have anything with Corey. Didn't have nothing. Nothing lined up. Phone hadn't rung. And I looked at Brother B and I said, Do you not ever worry when I hadn't got something for us to do? And that'd been a perfect time for him to say, You don't know what I know. <laughs> but he said, Daddy, has he not took care of us this long? He, you know, we said it, and I said this all, we said it so short. Right. We, we, get, we find ourselves in predicaments most of the time that we put ourselves in. But if we call on him, Brother Sean, he'll, he'll get us out. Yes, he will. I, I, whenever I rolled my knee out back in October, I thought, now what in the world are we going to do? But the devil, you don't know what right. no I I serve a God that, that made a way. Yes. Uh, I hadn't I hadn't missed a meal, as you can tell. <laughs> I missed a few with surgery, but that's because I couldn't eat. 
<laughs> wasn't because I didn't have nothing to eat. But then, well, you don't, you don't know, right? I, 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 I don't yeah. know who this is for. I made, you know, I was kind of thinking about changing my message, and this may not be for nobody but me. But I'm here to tell the oh, devil, you don't know what I know. Yes, I, I, yes. I've had to come too far, too far, too far. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, to let him get me down. Yeah, he may. Oh, uh, trying to think what preacher it was years ago. He said, "I've never." He told how long he had to hold it. He said, "Never been down." I thought, no. <laughs> but his answer was, to that was, I've never been down because I'm always getting up. Right. But Chris, we can't get knocked down. But there's no reason for us to stay down. That's right. That's right. Because right. I serve a God yes. that knows all, yes. sees all, yes. and can take care of all. I I'm so thankful, and, and I long for the day to see this house full of people. Yep. Amen. And I can get back up and tell that group of people, right? Devil, you don't know what I know, right? Enemy, you don't don't rejoice when I fall, because I'm not going to uh -huh. stay down. That's it. I serve a God's going to pick me back up. Yes, He will. And He's going to take me. Where he needs me to be. Right. I, I pray a lot of times I don't do it near enough. I'm going to have to get back at it. I pray God help me to be the me that you need me to be. Right. Amen. Amen. You know, too often I think we try to be somebody else's me. Mm -hmm. You know, I preached a sermon here a while back about staying in your lane. <laughs> you know, we find, our, find out where we're supposed to be, you stay there. That's it. You know, don't try to... I don't need to go to Moore's and try to sell nobody on 10. Because I don't know I, know, I know where it goes, but I don't know how to sell it. It'd be ignorant for me to go over and try to get Brother Chris's job, so I'm just going to stay in my lane. Because God, God gave me something to do. I've often wondered why, and a lot of times I've wondered what, and, and Brother Ben said here a while back at the house, you know, if, uh, if God made sense to us, then we wouldn't need him. And that kind of made sense to me because I'm a little strange. But God is, God is good. Yes, he is. I mean, in, 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 the, in my darkest hour, he's been good. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I, and I... Sitting in our comments on our devotion here on my back, and um, I got out one morning. My, my work hours are crazy. I'm, I never know if I'm gonna sleep, if I'm gonna be awake, if I'm gonna be gone all night, or what. And so I was, I just walked outside one day, two or three o'clock in the morning. I woke up and, and uh, couldn't go back to sleep. I thought, well, I might as well pray. And I heard a preacher the other day say, "That's God's God's way of telling you. That's what He wants." You know. Nothing else going on that way you can talk to God. And I walked outside, Sister Christie, and all I did was thank him. I started thanking for my church, my church family, yes. my pastor, my bishop, uh, just just on and on. And I probably was out there 20, 30 minutes. And I got through praying, and I'm like, uh -huh. oh, I ain't even asked for nothing. Right. But I felt so good. Amen. Just, you know, when you start thinking about what God is yes. doing. Exactly. Never, never enough thanks can go. If he, and I've heard people say, if he never does anything else for me again, yeah. I still got to be thankful. Right. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he's through. Yeah. Amen. Not at all. I, I still think there's things that tomorrow we're going to see around here that we've been praying for. Amen. I do. Yeah. They, they, some people fixing to show up. That's going to be a big help. I believe help. it. I believe Two it. people that's here. Amen. I believe it. <coughs> And, and I'm claiming it. Yes. Yeah, I, yes, Lord. I said it to drums. That's how long ago that's been. And uh, I saw those doors open up, and I saw a particular lady come in the doors crying and singing. I hadn't seen that yet, but does that? Yes. I'm trying to think, is the young man sees visions? 
Mm. I'll wager in games. Yo, I seen a vision. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, Sister Lady, I'm, I'm, ex I'm, ex I'm expecting it. Yes. 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 I'm expecting yes. to see yes. that. And because then you don't know what it is. That's it. You, do know. you can, you can, and, and I'm not up here to, to, to encourage the devil to come at me yeah. by any means. <laughs> but he's thrown a bunch of stuff at me throughout the years. And some of us knocked me down. But he didn't know. He didn't know. He may have, he probably had the band queued up, had his favorite song ready to play. What God stepped in. Right. And when God steps in, Brother, Brother Corey, there ain't nothing, ain't no devil in hell can stop that. But then he said one time, if God did it, if God ain't in it, it won't amount to anything. Right. And if he is in it, you can't stop it. I'm so glad to serve a God yes. that does know and Thank that can't Jesus. nobody stop. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I received that tonight. That reminds me of a McFall song. Satan, don't start your party. Yet, yeah. laugh all you want to, but don't tune your instruments. Just because you wounded me, don't mean that you have won. For I have the armor of God on, and the fighting has just begun. I received that tonight. I received that tonight. The enemy does not know what we know. If he did, he would have took a back seat a long time ago. I received that tonight, that we're fixing to see things happen in this place that we've been praying over and that we've been believing God for. I don't think I'm the only one tonight, am I? Let's all sing. Do we have any announcements tonight? Before we... We forgive you. Someone else tonight. We are having lunch Sunday. The youth are doing lunch. Donations or what? Donations. What are they serving? Spaghetti and <laughs> the good spaghetti. And chicken and Not dumplings. Not the bad spaghetti. Not the bad spaghetti. The good spaghetti. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. <laughs> we'll cut that one. Anyone else tonight? We did forget to, to take up the offering, so we'll have the offering pan set back there on that back seat right back there in front of the production booth. Anybody wants to give? They can do so. I'm thankful to see everybody here tonight. Good to see y'all. Joseph's having a blazing down on his back. He may not be worried. Amen. Why don't you come on down with Joseph? Dismissed in Jesus' name.